Hello there, I am Joel and today I'm going to be making a rocket launcher from this 4 inch by 4 foot. Now what you're going to need, well if you want to play it, what you're going to need is two bottles, scissors, and you can decorate it however you want and this is what I chose to decorate mine with. And last of all, you're going to need some cardboard to make your rockets. It has to be four inches because we're gonna make ra bottle rockets and it's, it has to have a little room in there so I can put on the fin fins to make it aerodynamic. Uh, after you cut one top off and put it on the end, you're gonna put sand in this end part where there's the bottom so it doesn't mix in with all the water and liquid nitrogen because I need the liquid nitrogen and water so when I flip it upside down it blasts off and you just cut it along the edge watch your pointer finger Joel oh watch your pinky now that was better than expected then we're gonna put it right here like this. So it's like, just gonna take some duct tape and put that on real quick. Okay, there we go. Better safe than sorry. Okay. We're gonna need to put some sand and rocks in here, and we're gonna need and we're gonna need to fill this part half up with water, with tap water, and then we're gonna need some liquid nitrogen. Put it in here. Take the cap off. Tip it upside down. And the reason we put the sand and rocks in is so it goes like weighs down, so it goes like. Now I'm gonna work on making the fins for the rocket. I'm gonna decorate it. See you in a minute. So the thing's gonna be like that. And I think we're just gonna... Let's try this first. It's pretty well. Okay, now I'm cutting out the other fins, which is kind of difficult with that marker go. I gotta have three fins all together. This may take me 15 minutes, half hour. So we have finished with our fins. Here they are. We are good to go with these. Good to go with that guy. Good to go with this guy. We are ready to hot glue them. A few minor adjustments. Okay, I'm gonna go and grab the hot glue gun so I can attach two fins. Be right back. Hello, we are back. And now we are gonna glue the fins on. Still warming up a little. Holy, that's hot. We gotta do the seal quick before it dries up. See, it's already drying up. Oh, dude, that's hot. I accidentally put my hand on there. A little extra reinforcing. So, how does it look, peoples? Now we gotta see if it fits in a rocket launcher. Yep, so far so good. Oh, wait. Nope. Fit 
Test number two. Boom, baby. Fit test three. So far, so good. Perfect stands up. Slides around. We are in business. Um, okay, now I'm going to paint the rocket launcher and the ammo. Okay, got my gloves on. Got the spray paint. Gentle hands. Okay. Quick hands though. Didn't look as good as intended. to dry. By the way, we're using Krylon spray paint. It's kind of hard to see that. Use a missile now, I'm gonna spray it. Expect it and make sure all the sides are covered. Hold on. Okay, so now that we're done painting, tomorrow it's launch day, and we're gonna fire this baby to the moon. All right, guys, we were unable to, we might not be able to do the liquid nitrogen because it's really hard to get. So, the, we tried baking soda and vinegar, and that seemed like it worked pretty good. But if we use the liquid nitrogen, it's gonna go higher, and it's gonna probably be cooler. But we might not be able to do that. It's really, really hard to get. So we're gonna use the baking soda and vinegar, and let's see how high we can make it go. When the vinegar and the baking soda mix, when they're shooken up, they vapor and turn into a gas, which causes enough pressure to shoot them high into the sky. Kind of the same thing with liquid nitrogen, except it goes higher. What we did with the baking soda and the vinegar is we put them in the bottle, and then we, as quick as we could, put the stopper on, Turn upside down, shake it a little, put the rocket launcher on, and and it, and it fell to the ground. Went about 10, 20, maybe 50 feet into the air with the baking soda and vinegar. All in all, it was a successful experiment, but we still might be able to get the liquid nitrogen. Hope you liked it. Goodbye. Okay, so um, I'm testing the project with vinegar and baking soda. So we have a backup plan in case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two tablespoons of each in here. I'm going to shake, put the stop in, shake it up. Then it's going to blast off. This is a 
another try. Is it gonna come? Is it gonna work? This could definitely be like a failure. Oh, mom's home. Come on, launch. I thought this was supposed to make it explode. Oh, there it goes. Try some more. I'm not going to go get it until I see it. Okay, Joe, 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 Joe. Whoa, there it goes! Ow! Ow! Put it on! Okay, I'm gonna do it, but we might not be able to get the liquid nitrogen to do it because it's kind of really hard to get. So we might just end up doing the vin the baking soda and vinegar. Hope you enjoyed my video and have a good time.